Damn man. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Good job. Good job. Heck yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. You pounded him. <laughs> what kind of reaction was that? Well, yet another jam-packed episode here on Deer Season 21. Uh, this one near and dear to many, many hearts. First and foremost, my uh, grandson Tanner. Tanner Heberley is gonna come in and we're going to attempt to harvest his first deer, first deer ever, which is always cool. And then we've got two young ladies that are literally setting Drury Outdoors history, something that's never been done before and may never be done again. This is one you don't wanna miss. So here's what we got. We got youth season opening tomorrow. We got Tanner in today. This is uh, Kelly and Sean's son, Tan Man. So uh, we're gonna do a little plinking with the 22 here to kind of get things, maybe brush the cobwebs off just a little bit. We're doing some close close shooting first and then we'll we'll stretch it out just a little bit after that. But we'll, we'll plink a couple 22s and, and see how well he does here this morning. Well, we start off with this little 22 Wildcat. I think it is the perfect, perfect gun for a youngster. And uh, I love to shoot it, Forrest loves to shoot it. So we're gonna have Tanner uh, do a little bit of plunking here, close range, cause it's a little bit windy. And then we're gonna stretch it out after that. Okay, look where that's at. Yeah. I'll tell you what, you do that tomorrow, he's, we're gonna be sitting behind him taking pictures. Boy. That's nice. Way to stack them in there, buddy. Thank you. Well, in addition to some of that close range shooting, we're going to put Tanner in the hawk blind. Uh, you know, if they've never shot out of a blind and this is his first attempt at a deer, you know, it's always fun to get them inside, get them acclimated with shooting out of a window. Uh, it's a little bit different when you're shooting out of a blind than it is just an open, open air setting. So we're going to get him just somewhat familiar with it. Well, you know, Tan Man did a great job plunking with the 22 Wildcat, and we had supreme confidence in his shooting ability because of the way he shot and grouped. You know, he didn't have any flyers, never pulled one, so uh, now it's up to him to be shooting this 350 Legend. This is a gun we use all the time. We've had tremendous luck with it. It's the perfect firearms for a youngster. Uh, at 100 yards, you can literally drive tacks with this thing. It's got zero recoil. Uh, and the downrange terminal velocity and the percussion that you, that you get out of this gun is almost violent on the other end. So uh, for a straight wall cartridge, it's as good as it gets. Winchester did a heck of a job with this one. Here we go, we're rolling this morning. We're uh, hunting youth season here this morning. We got Tanner, which is just so happens it's Sean and Kelly's favorite son. Let me think here a minute. Nolan, Carter, Peyton. Yep, Tanner's their favorite. Right, Tan Man? We're rock and roll ready to go. We're gonna kill something this morning, other than time. Pretty good morning this morning. Maybe one of the best mornings we've had all year. So conditions are right, looking really, really favorable. Cold, clear, rain finally did move out. So uh, should be good morning this morning. Well, once we got all nestled in there like bugs in a rug, it was it was tight, a little bit cramped inside that blind, but there were four of us and we wanted uh, Tanner, Tan Man we call him, right up front. So uh, we got him in the blind there and the action started pretty doggone early. Had a young buck that came in and worked right into the decoys. Okay, we got that little small buck in there and then wasn't long, we had another buck pop out but uh, he took a look at Jane Doe and he just didn't think she was quite attractive enough. He looked at Joe Buck, he didn't think his attitude was right, so he got on out of there. Oh God, there was our deer. Well, we were somewhat deflated. I mean, that buck was, you know, 30 yards from us. It would have been a chip shot for Tanner. We had to get him spun around and all that stuff, but uh, it would have been, you know, a great shot, great buck. 
So we were, we were bumming just a little bit and we just sat there and waited and waited. Sun came up, warmed up just a little bit. We were in the shade, but all of a sudden we see this beautiful buck coming down the lane, the road we actually walked in on, sun glistening off his back. It couldn't have been any prettier. Uh, and, and once he spotted the decoys, he, uh, he kind of acted right. He came towards us just a little bit more. And uh, as they say, the rest is history. Good shot. He smoked him. Oh, he's here. <laughs> Good deal, buddy. Put that gun over here. There you go. Damn, man. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Good job. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. He pounded him. Oh, he double walked him. No, Ken. No. Sweet. Heck yeah, dude. That's awesome. Damn, I don't feel about that one. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we had supreme confidence in his shooting ability because he grouped so well there at the barn and uh, out, outside of that hawk blind, we were pretty confident that he would make the shot if he got an opportunity. He did just that. He put it exactly where it needed to go. Bingo, Tanner kills his first deer ever. Well, we're gonna go grab him. I, it looks or appears that, that Tanner made a tremendous shot. I mean. That was probably 80 yards, 75, 80 yards, and just absolutely put it where it needed to be, shooting a 350 Legend straight wall cartridge, and it uh, looks like it did the trick. We're gonna go find him. The good news is, too, he didn't roll all the way down there. Thank goodness, yeah. He's close enough to the edge here for Tanner to drag him up there. You know, you never know what kind of emotions a, a youngster goes through, but you can only kill your first deer one time. And that's exactly what Tanner did. I think he was pretty emotionally struck right there, and we were tickled to be with him. I was tickled to celebrate it with him, be with him on his first, his first deer ever, and so was Sean. Uh, love them both. Uh, so we were pretty doggone happy with that. That particular hunt is going to stick in my mind for quite some time. Buddy, congratulations once again. I'm thank proud of you. Thank Great you shot. Let me hunt out here. Well, thank you for putting a good shot on him. That's what it. That's what it's all about. Is is uh, executing, and you did just that. So thank you once again. Congratulations, first deer, first deer ever, right here. You can only kill your first one one time. I think this was a good one too. It was a good one to kill. You bet, buddy. Well, it was pretty cool to be with Tanner, you know, the first deer he's ever killed and the emotions were pretty deep there. Sean and I both, both very, very proud of the shot he made. So we were happy to celebrate that with him and, uh, you know, it was just pretty special and near and dear to our hearts. But here's another story that's even near and dear to more people's hearts. And this is one that two young ladies are going to bring to you uh that has and it's something that has never ever happened in drury outdoors history it may never happen again we're really really proud to be sharing it here on deer season 21 uh but these two young ladies first and foremost they're both pregnant they're both with child uh one of them is within a week of her due date they're both shooting vertical bows it's halloween night and one of them is celebrating an anniversary and both of them harvest bucks I'm telling you, this one is one for the ages. You don't want to miss it. Here's to never missing a day of hunting camp. Because with DeerCast, you can take camp with you all season long. Get ahead of your game. I first got introduced to hunting through my husband, well, my now husband at the time, he was my boyfriend. Just watching him do his thing and teaching me all while being out there and enjoying the great outdoors uh, really led me to love being outside as well. Um, I've always been a fan of the outdoors, just never saw the hunting aspect of it until I met him. The more I hung out with him, the more we spent time outside and I got to see turkey hunting, I got to see deer hunting, um, and I got to see his passion throughout the experience and as our relationship developed, so did my relationship with hunting. So I guess that's where it all started. 
hunting has been a part of my life ever since I can remember. Um, I've got pictures of me in diapers running turkey calls and uh, pictures of me at one, two, three out in the woods uh, with my grandpa. Um, he's the one who introduced me to the sport and uh, the passion that I have so deeply started with him. It's because of him that we had this successful night on Halloween evening. Um, he was one of the first people that I was texting back and forth with and he ended up coming out for both recoveries. He helped us get Gabby's deer out and then was uh, along on the track job for uh, Ashley's deer. So to incorporate him was something that I know he enjoyed and uh, something that we're happy to be able to share with him and uh, share with the rest of our family. So going back uh, from, I mean my whole life practically, um, as far back as I can remember, um, I've been around hunting between Grandpa John, Zach, my mom. We have so many pictures of us from when we were little. When my mom harvested um, one of her bucks, there's a picture of me and Zach in it. It was just always something that we did every year during hunting season. Um, it was a tradition we did. We would spend time together as a family out at the farm. As I got older, um, as I got married, um, those memories are moving on to um, the family that we're starting with our son, um, who's going to be here in February, so that's exciting to look forward to. Uh, yeah, so when I first met Zach, uh, we actually met at college, and I was playing college softball, and he was playing college baseball. Um, and softball and developing myself with softball is very similar to developing myself uh, in the hunting world. The things I put into softball, the hard work and the hours and uh, all those things paid off so I kind of see that reflection in softball and I'm able to apply the same concepts to hunting and uh, see that pay off as well. Um, so being an athlete my whole life, playing softball in college, um, I can tie a lot of similarities in between um, sports and hunting um, you know you win some you lose some it's not always going to be a happy, happy ending at the end you don't always do things perfect um, a lot of discipline comes between the both of them with bow hunting and softball or whatever sport it might be practice makes perfect um, re repetition is key about the time turkey season hit especially in the midwest that uh, was a little rough, rough patch for gabby but she did tell me that going into deer season, she was really wanting to try to get a deer before Little Miss came. My pregnancy has been a challenge, um, and I didn't really know how this was gonna affect my practice until I started to grow and my abdominal wall started to change and the muscles that you use, uh, it, it just becomes a little bit more difficult. Just with my practice, I was able to protect my ab abdominal wall and kind of focus on strengthening that as well as uh, finding a happy medium for my balance. Um, and there was no doubt in my mind, no matter what happened, that I was gonna still do my best to be out in the woods for deer season. So as things progressed, we kind of just adapted together and we're just keeping our fingers crossed for success. Going into this 2021 deer season, I really had one main goal in mind, and that was to get Gabby a deer. Um, we were really trying to target one deer for her specifically, and that was the buck that she had missed last year, the one that we had nicknamed Baby Red. Um, we've had pictures of him, I think back three years is when we really started noticing him. Named it Baby Red after a deer that we called Mr. Potato Head. They kind of have the same frame, so Baby Red Potato, so that's kind of how he got his name. We ended up having a second encounter with him um, during the muzzleloader season there in Missouri. Things just didn't end up coming together that night and he uh, lived another day and ended up making it through the season. About two weeks ago, it was like a light switch event. Things really started to heat up on our farm. Um, pictures instantly started getting better. It was just that time of the year. We had an incredible acorn crop this last year and I think that has helped. You can talk about it, do all you want, but to have two successful deer hunts in one night is a pretty crazy idea. Um, little did I know what was coming that night. So when we got into the blind, uh, I let Zach get set up. We actually had our uh, doe with us, so he set that up and then headed into the blind with me. And, you know, it was really kind of a slow start. Mm -hmm. 
as we were just kind of hanging out in the blind, uh, Zach was looking out to our right out of the blind and all I heard him say was, oh Gab, there he is. Kind of got up slowly. Uh, he grabbed the camera, started recording. He was going to go around. He wanted to go downwind of us. Um, so he backed out where he came in at, and we could hear him going around. We had to Chinese fire drill. Uh, Zach and I switched sides. Uh, he's moving around cameras. I'm just taking a look out to see where he's going to come out at. I hear him almost running to the other side of the blind. And as Zach is reaching for one of the cameras, I see him poke his head out and he was actually running at the time. Um, and when Zach actually reached, he stopped. Okay, I'm on him if you can turn on. Don't move. Don't move. I drew back um, in the midst of all of it. My peep had gotten turned a little bit, so Zach had to pause his camera roll, switch my peep around so I could have a clear line of fire. Yeah, I looked through the peep and knew that I was gonna have a clear shot. This is gonna be at 27 yards. I was already set up for it. I think I finally breathed for the first time after I let the arrow fly. Um, and I think one of the first things I said is that, that it was a tough shot for me. Uh, just because the angle we were at with my abdominal muscles changing and my balance being a little bit off, uh, it was a challenge. But I'm, I'm just fortunate that I was able to make it happen. And I think I can contribute that to the practice that we put in uh, preseason. We just washed a bag and Gabby smoked him. <laughs> he did not. This is the same bug that Dr. Arrow opening day last year and then gave us the slip in the late season. Yeah. So this bug, we worked really hard for. And I can tell you where that rage went. He's not going to be far. You know, going in and seeing him in front of me made me a little bit emotional because I'm just hoping for the same opportunities for our baby girl as she grows up. Um, I know she's going to be in an outdoor world just because I know that's the lifestyle Zach and I live. And uh, it got me excited thinking about her future, um, but also, you know, just thinking about the ways that we want to parent this little one as she enters the world. and. Um, how that's making me excited to be a mom to her as well. No kidding. What? Ashley had that eight point. I would assume it's the eight point you saw last time she hit him. No kidding. That's what she said. <laughs> Two and one answer anniversary. <laughs> one night. <laughs> it's not even over yet. No, and hopefully we're finding another big buck. 
Yeah. You're already out of breath from one. I am out of breath from one. I'm out of shape, I tell you that. When we were on our way out, Zach got a text that actually had shot a deer as well. Uh, she's 26 week, weeks pregnant. As soon as Zach told me that she had shot a deer, I kind of had the what factor. So going into this hunting season, um, being pregnant, I definitely knew it wasn't gonna keep me out of the woods. Um, I knew it was gonna look a little different. I knew my clothes, my camo from last year wasn't gonna fit this year. <laughs> So Halloween was actually Riley and I's um, one year wedding anniversary. Um, going into that for the last couple weeks we had made the plan that we wanted to spend it in the woods. Uh, we set up the buck decoy we had in front of us. It was a very slow evening. We hadn't seen anything at all. Zach and I had been texting back and forth. Um, and then I got a text that Gabby had shot a deer. In the process of communicating back and forth with Zach, we had a doe step out in the field. Um, and soon after that, there was a buck that we had never had, never seen before. We didn't have any pictures of him, um, a shooter buck. He probably came back on the very edge of the timber two or three times before he, we didn't see him again that night. But one of the times that he left the field, Riley said that um, this big eight came in the field, a buck we had pictures of and um, Zach had had an encounter with before and actually Zach and Gabby had seen in the same field the night before. We were losing daylight pretty quick. Um, Riley actually grunted at him a couple times, got his attention, um, and that's when he really headed our direction. Um, I did hear, I knew I hit him because I heard it, I heard the pop, um, but Riley actually heard him crash in the woods, so. Well, here we are, we are on the second blood trail night. My sister and her husband were out hunting as well in the spot that Gabby and I hunted last night, and my sister hit the buck that we saw last night, so we're gonna see, got good blood here, they didn't track very far, they just tracked to the edge of the woods, so we will take him as far as we go, hopefully find him. Ashy, give me a hug. You little boober. <laughs> um, I knew he was a big deer. I didn't know exactly how big he was until I saw him laying there. <laughs> um, a lot of emotions. Um, I told Riley before the season even started, one thing I really wanted to do this season um, was harvest a good buck while I was pregnant uh, with our little boy, um, just to have a good story to tell him one day. We got the opportunity to do something that a lot, not a lot of people say that they can do. Um, mm -hmm. And do it together on the same night yeah, is awesome. awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of crazy. Yeah. Don't let pregnancy keep you from doing uh, things you want to do. I'll yeah. just say that. I think pregnant mamas are capable of a lot more than um, some people may think, so get out there and do it. Yeah. You got it. Well, the story doesn't end there. Within seven days of Gabby harvesting that deer, the new arrival showed up. Here's the newest team member to Drury Outdoors, Charlotte Bow. Well, standing here next to the back-to-back -back Morel target 
And because we do so much traveling and we go from farm to farm, you know, it's uh, not uncommon to set this thing out wherever you want to in the yard. Well, the old adage, uh, aim small, miss small, may apply. And on this thing, because on this end, these dots are all so much smaller, stay in tune all season long and try and start targeting these smaller dots. It's made of the flex back self-healing foam, which is one of the most impressive targets I've seen as long as we've been doing this, and I'm talking decades. So this is the absolute greatest target we've been around, regardless whether you're shooting practice tips, mechanical, fixed blade, it doesn't matter. Give this one a try. This is one I think you'll be impressed with. We're adding new videos every week, so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content. This episode of Deer Season 21 is brought to you by MOTV. For access to all our Jury Outdoors TV shows, head over to the MOTV app today.